Hello, my name's Anthony. I'm one of the founding members of Assemble. Assemble was founded in order to realise a common urge to build. This is Assemble, by the way, um, at our home in East London in Bow. We champion a working practice that's independent and collaborative, blowing the boundaries between the designer, builder, and the public. The idea being that the public become an on ongoing accomplice and participant and eventual owner of the projects. This started with the first project, Cinerolium, which uh, turned a petrol station into a cinema in East London. The idea being that petrol station that us all these vacant sites and cities would become sort of uh, activated by an unexpected, uh, unexpected proposal. The second one was the Folly of the Flyer, which did the same for a um, abandoned site next to the canal in East London. And through both of these, our working method evolved in something that's, uh, that's collaborative and uh, built by volunteers, and being, being, being that sort of through a kit of parts that we can engage as much as wide audience as possible in, in sort of the ongoing realization of the work. Um, play has long interested us. It's seen as a vital part of city life, and, and, and children are an essential part of the functioning urban realm. Adventure play was born out of the chaos of the two world wars. So sort of vacuums were created in the city as a result of the widespread reduction, and children started, started to occupy these opportunities. Alongside the liberalization of attitudes children at the cent uh, to children at the, at the beginning of the uh, 19th century, the idea of adventure play was born. When children play, they tend to play in a slightly chaotic way. Children play best when they are on the edge of chaos. On one side, this, this edge of chaos is a state of ordered play where the child may be directed or organized in the way that uh, what they play on. The other side is the edge of chaos. And they, the idea that um, adventure playgrounds occupy this sort of, uh, very tight edge where children can self-direct but uh, contain the safe environment. This is Glamis, which is the first adventure playground that opened in London. It was a former children's hospital that basically became <coughs> occupied and eventually um, established itself as a permanent fixture, a sort of health scale like environment. At the other end of the spectrum, something like this, which is the um, outdoor nursery, which is sort of open, a complete open space that is sort of held and contained. But again, this idea of, of, of creating a passive learning environment. Both share underpinning values that all children need to have the right to play. Uh, providing a child-centered free adventure play space will help them learn. And was ever done that nothing can um, harm any, the enjoyment of others. This is a great quote from uh, Architectural Journal in 1971, comparing the sort of fixed play infrastructure that we categorize by normal playgrounds to sort of the loose, open environment that um, adventure play is trying to foster. Um, moving forward, this is our site. We're funded as the main arts commission of the Commonwealth Games. Um, and this is sort of a vacant site that, uh, in an area that of, of sort of dire need, there's no parks, no playgrounds, no children's services with walking distance of Delmarnock. Um, local play provision looks something like this, or the following slide, which is fairly dire. And the idea being that um, we set out to see what adventure play can offer to children growing up in urban environments of entire scarcity, where there's no fresh food, no access to, um, to normal welfare provisions that we, that we sort of come to assume, um, where sort of the local council essentially abandoned it into this sort of slight fate. This started with um, October last year, where we had an initial uh, activation period on the site, where we just essentially allowed the children to play and to see what emerged as a, uh, as a concept. The idea for the playground is essentially to create a state of exception where we can opt out of the sort of prevailing wisdom of how children are allowed to operate in cities. Um, and so this initial sketch was born, where the idea is really putting the basic infrastructure that allows children to play, but then the entire process can be um, shaped and moulded by them as the, as the project moves forward. Um, alongside this physical infrastructure of play, we began a sort of strategic campaigning and political work at a city and national level. Um, the argument being that this type of play can occur anywhere, and that actually, while now we, we need a sort of set environment where it can occur, actually this should be able to occur anywhere in the city. This happened on Glasgow Green in April, which brought a fragment of this contained chaos into the very public realm. The idea being that children should be visible throughout the city and it makes for a better, happier environment for all. Um, so um, the idea that children can be left to judge their own risks, um, take control of their own actions, shape their own space, and actually they are, are very adept at doing that if they're given, they're given the control. And without giving strict lessons, they learn a lot of uh, very important and very valuable lessons about, about how we exist in a sort of cultural, multicultural and um, multi-identical, uh, multi-identity society. The playground has several interlocking features and aims for the children. So one of the key ones is the idea of healthy eating. Delmarnock is uh, one of the first food deserts, so there's no access to fresh food in a 20-minute walking radius of the area. 
Um, it's the idea that the, the entire environment becomes a free, non-prescription environment open to change and adaptation. Often chaotic and messy to the edit right, it is constantly evolving, child-led space full of adaptable, breakable, malleable loose parts from mud, spades to self bit structures and timber, paint, dressing up and clothes. Um, so this is the bridge of death that was constructed uh, a couple of months ago by the children. And again, you're saying so something as simple as mud is, uh, again, we see as messy or problematic can actually provide a, a sort of range of opportunities. And just by simply allowing it a space to be and evolve is actually sometimes the most valuable resource. I mean, Leferb writes a lot about vacancy in space and how important uh, emptiness is in how, um, how, we, how we relate to the city. It is a supervised site which offers secure, reliable, emotional, social and physical environment where children need to come first. The idea is to provide opportunities for children to take risks, be adventurous and explore their capacity to manipulate and reinvent the world around them, while not being prescriptive in how that takes place. It represents an immediate practical response to the restraints and challenges and boredoms that face, and exclusions facing children living in contemporary urban environments, especially in poverty areas such as Delmarnock, where children, uh, children playing is generally seen as a sign of problems. Uh, youth are sort of tried to ostracize and... Um, and uh, the idea that passively bringing skills and bringing in, uh, an enjoyment of, of the outside environment, uh, rural issues, growing, food, building, that uh, you can teach a whole amount of um, really important lessons without the sort of heavy-handed approach that education has, has taken increasingly in the UK. Uh, in this project, Assemble has worked from concept to play worker training, organisational development, design and strategic campaigning, and political work at a city and national level. The idea being that um, we take this incredible, incredibly holistic approach, the aim being to establish a sort of an organization that will run and manage the playground in perpetuity from here forward um, and leave sufficient within an organization that, that can campaign to make this form of play and this access play as widespread as possible.